Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up Steam Link so that you can play Toontown on your mobile device. Um, you don't need any extra hardware for this. This can just be done with your PC and your mobile device. Um, so the let's start with the first thing you're going to need is Steam. Uh, if you don't know what that is, then you go online. Here's the website, store.steampower.com. Install it. I think you can figure that part out. Uh, so once you have Steam installed and you're logged in and everything, uh, you go up here to Steam, Settings, and then you're going to want to click on this Remote Play tab and make sure that this tick box is enabled. So enable it, hit OK. And then you will want to add um, Toontown to Steam. So we go down to the bottom left here, add a game, add a non-Steam game. And then let's find Toontown. There it is, Toontown rewritten. If for some reason it's not here, then you can find it manually by clicking Browse and looking through your computer. Um, if you don't know how to find where it's located on your computer, then you can go to your desktop icon, right click, and do open file location, and then this will be where it is. So this is where it is on my computer, and where it will probably be on yours unless you changed it. Uh, but anyways, we will select Toontown, add it. And now that part's done. So now this should be in our list of games. And yeah, it is. So that part's done. We can test it out, hit play. It'll open up the launcher. So yeah, it's good to go. Uh, so now we would move on to our phones where you're going to need uh, Steam Link, the Steam Link app. So this is what it looks like for iOS. This is what it looks like for Android. Uh, I don't have an iPhone, so I haven't tested this out on iOS, but I'm sure it works just the same. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into the phone now. Alright guys, uh, we're now on recording number four, because my phone does not like uh, screen recording while I'm doing this, but I'll get it eventually. So uh, get started, once you open the Steam Link app. Uh, choose your controller. You can use one of these controllers. You can use whatever you want, but I'm going to use the touch controller uh, or my touch screen. Uh, so now your PC and phone need to be on the same network so it can scan the network and find your device. Uh, select your device. It's going to give you that pin. Enter it on your computer and hit OK. So now it's going to test your network. All right, so hit start playing. All right, so now we're in our PC. Uh, your touch screen is going to serve as a trackpad, just like a laptop. Um, you also have the buttons to navigate. So uh, we are going to go to search library, select it. We're going to search up Toontown. Select it, go over to play. All right, it's going to bring up the launcher. Uh, so simply just log in using your keyboard on the top right and using the screen as a trackpad. Uh, I will be editing out my personal info here. So let me just log in real quick. All right, let's do the password. All right. So uh, once you're logging in, once you log in, it will open the Toontown client. First thing you want to do is go in the top left, these three dots, change mouse disable to direct cursor. Hit the X. So we now have a mouse cursor. Um, 
So anywhere you tap on the screen, your cursor will go there and left click. Um, now you can also hold it and drag. That will hold left click while moving the mouse cursor. So let's select our tune. Alright, so we're in game. We can't do anything though because our buttons don't work. So click the Steam button at the top. Go to controller config. And you can set this up however you want, but this is how I will do it. So I'm going to do the D pad buttons. I'm going to do D pad up is W. My movement keys are W A S D. So that's walk forward. D pad down will be S. I'm going to go over to my buttons. So um, X is going to be A. B is going to be D. We'll make Y escape. Select it. Uh, that's not right. I'm gonna hit remove to redo that. Hit escape. Alright. I don't know what this little symbol is. I haven't seen that before. I don't know why it's doing that. Remove. I'm gonna select escape. Alright, whatever. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then the A button is going to be spacebar, which is my jump. So that's it for those. I'm gonna go to RB, or right bumper, and I'm gonna make that tab. Okay, so we hit B to get out of here, and then you're gonna wanna go to the toggle controller HUD. This will turn on your controls. Um, so now we have all our controls, um, but as you can see, whenever I press something in the bottom left, those buttons pop up, and that's annoying to me. So, uh, hit the Steam button at the top. Uh, hit Toggle Controller HUD one more time, and that problem should be gone. Uh, so one last thing, we need to add our tab, because R1 is not on the screen, so... In the top left, the cursor and the three white dots. Uh, we are going to go to layout controls under touch controller. We're going to drag that tab and put it wherever we want. Hit the button in the top left again. Hit the X, not cancel. Uh, and also this little flashing thing underneath the touch controller. Uh, the On the right hand side, it's like the buttons that are flashing. You tap that and then hit X. Now we have our controller set up. Um, the little flashing thing that we just turned off makes it so that our layout doesn't disappear. Because um, I like the buttons to stay. But that's up to you. We now have tabs so we can change the camera. You can set up whatever key bindings you want. Uh, this should work while you're at home on your network, while you're uh, away from home, as long as you um, have a decent internet connection. Uh, as we can see, it's running pretty good right now. Um, so yeah, you can fish, you can do everything you can in the real game, like, on your computer. You can do it all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that it uh, saves this time, my phone doesn't freak out on me. Uh, thank you, and take care.